All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. You're getting ready for the upcoming weekend. Uh, I wanted to make this quick little video. I'm not going to spend much time on it. I just wanted to let people know that there is a new release of Venom Linux, and that's what we're looking at. Now, Emmett has decided with this release he's only going to release an XFCE ISO. And I have to say, I'm a window manager user, but I'm actually kind of enjoying using XFCE on Venom. What you're looking at is exactly what you get. Well, let me let me go back. I <laughs> I did remove let's see, there was a battery indicator. It seemed like there was something else. Oh, notifications. I did remove those from over here on the panel and I added uh, the volume icon and that is actually volume icon that's that's not the XFCE pulse audio plugin uh, there was no volume icon at all on the panel and there wasn't one to be added I didn't take the time to try to look for it and install it if it is available as far as the uh, Pulse Audio plugin. So I just went with what I'm used to and I installed Volume Icon and added it to the auto start. But <clears throat> let's go over, other than that, what you're looking at here on the panel <clears throat> is exactly what you get. Um, get the whisker menu and I'll go over real quickly what you get I'm not going to go through each and every item. Um, first, let's see. We'll look at about XFCE, and it is version 4.14. So you're getting the newest. All right, let's go through this really quick. Um, accessories. I'm just looking to see if anything jumps out that uh, you do get XF burn. X Archiver, Thunar is your file manager, of course, and Mousepad will be your text editor. Development, you get all your QT items here. Under Graphics is Inkscape, and Ristretto is your image viewer. Uh, Internet, you get Firefox, HexChat. Now, I downloaded Telegram from the Telegram website, and I added that. And Thunderbird for your email. Under Multimedia, you get the Audacious Music Player, which I love Audacious. Uh, Parole Media Player, Simple Screen Recorder, that was already pre-installed. SM Player, and there's XF Burn again. And under Settings, I'm not going to go through all these settings. Let's see what icon theme. It looks like Papyrus, but I'm not positive. Alright, for your themes, you get the arc themes, icons, oh okay that's from system 76 the pop icon theme. I guess that is a uh, some kind of a fork of papyrus. Alright and for wallpapers <laughs> let's see what we get here. You get those wallpapers, the XFCE. Now, I wonder, I haven't checked. Let me see. Uh, let's look. Open our file manager. We'll go to File System. Look at User Share Backgrounds and User Share Wallpapers just to see. There's Backgrounds. Oh, there's a Venom folder. And that is, that looks like that, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I have that actually, I have that wallpaper on my Mio Linux system also. Let's see if that worked. That is it. Hooray! Thanks, Emmett. <laughs> I love that background. <laughs> I actually discovered that background from uh, Tinker for Fun and Autonomy. He had that background and I asked him if I could use it. 
it was there a way he could send me a link or whatever and he did I love that that's a beautiful wallpaper to me so we do have that we have one in Venom and I guess those are the ones that yeah let's see if there's a user share wallpapers just in case nope no wallpapers so I just discovered something there is one extra wallpaper in here under the Venom folder alright now if you're not familiar with Venom Linux Venom is a rolling distro it's a source based distro and let me see if I can remember how to increase the font size again there we go that might be a little too big let me go down all right neo fetch all right so there's the kernel he makes his own kernel for the system and there you go <laughs> this is Venom Linux source based distro very easy to install if you're interested in a source based distro maybe you don't want to have to take the time to install Gentoo or Linux from scratch <laughs> you, I would highly recommend you check Venom Linux uh, fantastic system Emmett does a wonderful job with it and if you want to see how a source based distro works get get Venom Linux and give it a try and you'll get to experience the joy of running updates and watching everything compile <laughs> it, it, I actually really enjoy it but that's it guys I just wanted to let people know that there's a new version of Venom Linux available now just was released yesterday He's only releasing the XFCE4 ISO, but you can you can add other desktop environments, window managers, whatever, and make it into whatever you want it to be. So that's it, guys. Hope you all have a great weekend coming up, and take care. Thanks a lot.